Live from the shop window at the European Kitchen Centre in New York City, it's 8am and it's Danny Boom's Morning Glory. Hi guys, now I'm here with Danielle Vincent, she's our beauty and lifestyle expert, resident always and will be with us. Um, she is the founder of Chemico Beauty and we're very, very lucky that we can get this lady because she is New York's premier, premier uh, skincare and beauty specialist. So, tell me, okay, I'm a guy, I don't know nothing about facial creams and things like that, I just have one, slap it on, all right? So what is the difference between men's and ladies uh, moisturizers? You know, Danny, there's not a huge difference. It's more of a marketing thing. Typically, I know, typically men's products have more fragrance in them. So they give them that cologne type of smell, which in fact can be a bit of a skin irritant. So you actually want to avoid that type of product. Okay. Men can use women's products, but if they're a bit adverse, there are some men's products that I would recommend. So, so there's nothing to do with like my skin's uh, thicker or denser than yours or rubbery or leathery or anything Is like it that. leather? I don't know. <laughs> I'm just saying. It's like I always believed that men's products were, were different because ladies, uh, like the female skin or dermis. Yes. That's a word, apparently, uh, to do with this, is, uh, in, in fact, basically thinner so or, or lighter. Is that no, I mean, typically, when you think of good skin care, it comes down to two things. You want to do a really good SPF during the day, and then at night, you want to do a good antioxidant. SPF, what's that? SPF, so that's a sun protection factor. Sun protection factor, check. And you want to make sure it's a broad spectrum. That's really important, because that's going to block both A and B UV rays. Right. Okay? From season to season, do we change moisturizers? It really depends on your skin type and it depends on where you live. So if you're living on the East Coast and you have these big seasonal changes, you might want to change um, the richness of it, especially at night, because the nighttime is when the cells turn over, that's when the skin repairs, you think of it as your body's resting, things are renewing. So, so you put moisturizer on before you go to bed, is that what you're saying? Yes, you right. do want to create that moisture barrier, because what happens at night is you lose water. They, it's a bit of a fancy word, they call it transepidermal water loss. That means that water is being lost through the skin and you want to retain that moisture, especially in the winter. Right, okay. The key thing I would say is if you're not doing moisture, then you need to still be doing SPF during the day. Right. And I can't stress that enough. Okay. I mean, men, women of all ages, never too late to start. It's the one thing that dermatologists across the world will agree prevents skin aging and skin damage. So That's if we're worried nice. about those fine lines and those wrinkles yeah. and overall texture and tone. Because, I mean, so when we're talking about our right. faces and we've talked about moisturizer mm -hmm. or anything like that, around here, it's like the high cheekbone area, you get crow's feet, you get puffy eyes. Mm -hmm. How do we prevent those? First and foremost, sunscreen. I'm going to say it again. Really? Yes. And, you know, crow's feet and uh, expression lines happen because, you know, when you smile, this is where the muscles contract underneath. So you do want to do SPF. You want to use a really good serum or treatment antioxidant lotion at night. Mm -hmm. and what that does is it reverses what's happened during the day. So think of it as being bombarded with all this stuff. So sun, smoke, pollution, all right. smog. Tell me about Kimiko. Kimiko is treatment skincare built into your makeup. So everything you wear is going to have a dual multi-prong benefit to oh, the skin. Right. Right? Okay. So while you're protecting against the sun, you're also using vitamins A, C, and E to help with that even skin tone that mm -hmm. we we're talking about. It's going to brighten up the skin. It's going to help with pigmentation. The first product that really sparked the idea was this multitasker concealer. Because as we all know, the under eyes is an area where it just gives away the fact that you haven't slept, that you've been out late, that you've been doing all these naughty things that Danny speaks of. So. So <laughs> <laughs> what we thought is that we would treat while we're concealing. Okay. So think of dark circles, fine lines, and puffiness being essentially eradicated the more you use the product. Right. What have you got for the guys there? You've got a, and a nice moisturizer. I this is a, a plain moisturizer. The company is called Jack Black, and I recommend to all my male friends who don't want to wear anything with color um, to choose their SunShield SPF 20. The reason I suggest it is that it's a very, very lightweight moisturizer, and it goes in just like that. So anyone who's adverse, so male or female, just absorbs. Yeah, and it doesn't feel like you have something on your skin, which is the main complaint I get from males as far as skincare goes, is that it feels like there's something on the skin. Really? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So what else you got? Uh, this is our Junsei serum. Junsei. This is a nighttime repair serum. Yes, mm -hmm. it's Japanese for pure, genuine, and what it is is it's time released, and I'm going to let you feel it on your hand. Give that a little rub. 
What it does is it delivers ingredients. Seven, it smell. Isn't it? It's very What's light. It made with? It's got white tea, licorice, uh, vitamins E. It's got. Um, Actually, I don't know if you can see that, looks, but my hand color has changed. Looks healthier. Yeah, it looks like. But continued use of that will help with the even tone of the skin. Mm. This is a hero product, and men can use this one as well. So right. if you're looking for that, like, kung fu, pow, nighttime treatment, this is the one that's going to do it. <laughs> and then... Especially with white tea and licorice. Right, okay. So, definitely. Okay. And it's, it's also got an enzyme that's a powerhouse antioxidant. Oh, Remember really? I was talking about free radical damage and antioxidants? Yeah. You want to combat that, so this is going to do that for you. Sweet. The next one is our hydrating tint. Mm. This is an SPF 20. Tint. Does tint. that mean it's going to basically, though it's got S, S PF, PF mm -hmm. it's also basically going to brighten me up as well because yes. it's got that tint in it. Yes. Give me a glow. Instant. Instant. Oh. So it's really that instant, that looking good now and then doing good for later philosophy. This you product is going to hydrate. It's going to give you that SPF. It's broad spectrum. And it's fragrance-free and hypoallergenic for people who are sensitive. Oh, that's fantastic. So believe it or not, people are very sensitive. So we wanted to choose something that was an SPF that wouldn't irritate the skin. So we did a non-chemical SPF. And it's hypoallergenic, so fragrance-free as well, which is key. That's fantastic. Yeah. That's great. Well, Danielle, that has been very informative. If you've got any questions, please tweet, Facebook us at dannyboom.tv. This is Danielle Vincent. She's our beauty and lifestyle expert, and she'll be with us for many weeks to come.